Kevin, as you were mentioning, the news is here in Brooklyn. Stephen A. Smith, Jalen Rose, Michael Wilbon will join us a little later this evening. Jacques Vaughn is in. Let's go first to Woj for the very latest. Woj, last week we were talking about Ime Udoka. How did we get from there to here? Uh, Drini, I'm told that especially with the ongoing Kyrie Irving saga uh, that has enveloped you not know, just the Nets but the NBA, it simply became too complicated of a proposition for the Nets to bring in Ime Adoka, understanding that there was going to be some backlash uh, hiring a coach who was under suspension in Boston and, and potentially, I think, for Brooklyn, uh, too disruptive uh, for a team that is trying to find some stability some calmer waters, especially given the timeline of Udoka arriving, would probably coincide uh, with Kyrie Irving's return at some point here. And I think, you know, Jacques Vaughn's a coach that this organization uh, is very fond of, almost became the head coach before they hired Steve Nash, was the head coach as an interim basis in the bubble. And he's got the respect of the veteran players in this team. But the idea of Ime Udoka, ultimately, it was too much for this organization organization uh, in their current state to take on right now. All right, Woj, thank you very much. We'll check back with you later. Meanwhile, there is absolutely no one who has better timing than Michael Wilbon, literally right out of the car <laughs> and onto the court joins us here. But, Stephen, I'll start with you. What is your reaction to the news that it will be Jacques Vaughn and not Udoka who takes over in Brooklyn? It's a dual reaction. I'm very, very happy for Jacques Vaughn. He was 7-3 and three as the head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. He's a good man. He's got the respect and the faith of the players, and he's earned this opportunity. So I'm very happy for him, but I still think it was a mistake because I think Ime Udoka is one of the elite coaches in the game of basketball today. And to have an opportunity to have him in your staple and to pass on that because of your own drama, I don't think that was the way to go. That's just my personal opinion. If I were the Brooklyn Nets, I would have hired Ime Udoka because when the dust settles, he's proven he's one of the elite coaches in this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do I, I don't feel pats on the back. <laughs> there was no hiring Ime Udoka. Didn't I say that last week? You did. You did. That's not going to happen. Did. It's not about basketball. It's not about how elite he is. It's not about sport. It's about the drama of life. All right? This organization is dysfunctional. You can't bring more dysfunction and shame into an organization that has dysfunction, if not shame. There's a no, that's a non-starter. And, I, you know, I said, I might not have said it, I know I said it to you. Can you imagine if David Stern was the commissioner now? Huh? Can you imagine a volcanic reaction that would have been greeted with the notion that they wanted to do it? This is not about coaching. It was never about coaching. It's not about the elite level of reaching your stars and what you, no. There's shame involved. This is a business in a community in New York City. There was no hiring Ime Udoka for this franchise. Yes, he deserves a second chance. He's going to get one or more, but not here. And it wasn't going to happen. And Joe Tsai and that executive group was made to know that if they didn't already. I agree with both of you guys. I agree with Stephen A. with the fact that I believe he deserves an opportunity to coach again. And he's also proven if he's given that opportunity that he could take a team to the NBA Finals. But for the Nets, I think they need to just take a deep breath and assess all of the turbulence that's happening right now. That's why they didn't go out and get a, a secondary candidate. They might as well put interim in front of Jock Bond's name because that's what he is. This season, next season. See what happens with Ben Simmons. See what happens with Kyrie. See if KD's going to still want to be here. And then if you still want to go out and hire Ime Udoka in another year or so when it does settle, okay. I think that timing will be a lot better. One way to look at it, I'm here to tell you right now, KD is locked up for the next three years after this year. If I had to, based on the drama, as much as I would not like to, I would have let Kyrie Irving sit on for the rest of the season and hired Ime Udoka. That would have brought stability. We have so much to say about these teams and this game as we continue. And then later in SportsCenter, we'll be talking about the struggling Lakers. They are struggling in and entirely different way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.